In this video, I'll be decorating some Dollar Tree doll houses in Easter decor. This is part of a playlist and the link will be provided in the description box so you can see what everyone's created today. The first house I'm decorating is this pink one with a purple roof, bright, beautiful, fun colors for Easter, but there's not a lot of detail in the house. So I'll be using some Posca markers and some puppy paint to add detail there. First I took the yellow one and went over the little spindles across the front of the house that looks like railing, and I thought they were shaped kind of like carrots, so I zigzagged some yellow lines on there, put some green on the top, and then used green puffy paint at the bottom to look like shaggy grass. Now for the windows, I'm going to use this pink marker and bring out the detail around those little dormer windows at the top. And I'm going to use some purple puff paint to um, go around the doors and windows with that because I didn't have a purple marker. You'll see all the little pink details on the door and the downstairs windows as well. Now for this other window in the center. I don't know what that's called. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I'm using puff paint on some of the detail there to bring that out. Now while that's set aside to dry, I'm going to pop out the front door and the two windows on the front of the house at the bottom there. And then I'm going to apply my paper. I didn't bother with trying to pop out the windows on the sides. They're really not going to show, so I'm just going to cover those up. Here I'm measuring where I need to cut the paper. And it was just a little short from going all the way 
around. But like I said, the back's not going to show. No biggie. So here I am cutting down my paper. And I'm going to be going pretty heavy handed with that outdoor Mod Podge. It's really thick. That's why I chose to use that. I'm going all the way around the body of that house. And then I'll lay my paper down on top and creased it to fit snugly. It was giving me a little bit of trouble. This is actually kind of a thicker paper that I'm using today. So I decided to put some of that Mod Podge on the back of the paper too. Now spread it out evenly. And then pop that onto the house. Once it dried, I got my X-Acto knife and cut out the openings for the door and the windows so I could pop those back in. Now, I don't mind a little of this green showing, but it's not really pastel enough, so I'm going to be going over those windows with some white. Yeah, let's put that roof back on, too. You can see I started painting on the door with blue, and it didn't quite work out because I couldn't get down into the detail with the tip of that marker. So, I'm just going to paint it ballet slipper. I'll paint it up and try something else. And I was just paint. If you don't like it, paint over it, start over. Now, I've got these little candies that I ordered from Amazon. They look like little swirls like a topping for something. I don't know. I thought it, it would be kind of cute to make them look sort of like shrubbery down the front of the house. <laughs> shrubbery. That's a cute word. I'm going around the upstairs dormer windows with some white, yellow, and blue Posca marker. And this little roof line here. What is that thing called? I know I'm supposed to know what that is. It looks like the top of a castle tower. It's just a bump out. I don't know. You ever get something on your mind and you can't think of it and it drives you nuts? Somebody comment and tell me what that roof line is called, please. I went around the door frame of the house with white puff paint and put some more of the ballet slipper paint on the door because I messed up with the puff paint again. I also didn't like what I did here with the yellow mixed in with the white so I'm just blending it together. The yellow was just too stark, too neon, too something. Anyway, I'm going to glue it on one of these planks that come six in a pack at Dollar Tree. Just the right size to have the house on with a little bit of moss around. I had quite a few of those moss sheet pieces left over from a project. So I hot glued that put the clamps on it, and then started adding more of those little shrubbery pieces. And then I'll put the moss sheet pieces around all of that.
And now it's looking like this, almost finished. The last thing I'm going to do is add these little egg-shaped LED lights in pastel colors. I picked those up at Dollar Tree, too. And it took me a minute to get these unwrapped. Here I'm just twisting up the wires so there's not so much space in between each egg. And then I start hot gluing. I go up one side of the roof, across the top, down the other side with hot glue. So there's the before picture. And here's the after. So cute. You know what would be even cuter? If I could find some double A batteries in this house. I found one and it's in a clock on the wall. So when I finally get some double A batteries and get this lit up, I'll post a picture of it on Instagram. So let's take a look at both of the finished houses. I think they turned out just darling. I like both of them equally. I love bright colors, but I also love pastels. So I really can't choose a favorite here. If you've got a favorite, let me know in the comments. Please check out the playlist to see what everyone's done with their houses. And until next time, bye-bye.